Hello there. This is an astrological forecast for Scorpio for the month of June 2010. And this also applies if you have a Scorpio ascendant. So my lovely Scorpios, this month is going to be a great big focus on your work. And you can certainly expect the unexpected in your work. Now I know Scorpios, you hate that. You like to have everything tightly in your control. Well, with Jupiter joining Uranus in your sixth house of work, there are going to be changes. There may be for many of you, you're already in that upheaval, but it's going to be changes that will eventually be for the good. You're getting thrown out of your comfort zone. You need to come up with new ideas, new ways, and this will be the way that you're going to be able to deal with this aspect in the best possible way. It certainly can bring new opportunities. It may bring endings in your work. You may find that you're without work or things are being restructured or changed where you are. All of a sudden, you may find you need to adapt. I know adaptable is not the most friendly word for a Scorpio, but in your work area, with this aspect of Jupiter Uranus here, you will need to adapt. But certainly Jupiter brings you good fortune. So in the midst of this upheaval, there are some good things and some good people coming in. So be ready to open yourself to these new opportunities because they are coming in if you're willing to let go of the old and not fight with your determination to hold on to the old when really it's past its sell-by date. Particularly, I'm relating this to your work area. We've got Mercury in your seventh house of relationship between the first and the ninth of the month. So if you like somebody or you're looking to meet somebody, this is a good time to be doing it and a good time to be talking and connecting with people, particularly on the mental level. It could be good for a business agreement. For those of you looking for a business partnership or a contract or whatever, good time to get it in place at the beginning of the month. We've got Mercury and Sun in your eighth house of joint finance and anything connected with finances for much of the month. This is an important time for you to get your finances sorted. Anything connected with taxes, taxation, the tax man could well be maybe auditing you or looking at you or checking into you. Really make sure you've got your paperwork and your finances in order. Also make sure that um, you've any of you in debt it's time to really look at these debts, see if you can consolidate, see if you can get rid of them, see if you need to sell your house, see if you need to get rid of any joint commitments that you have, but it needs to get cleaner and clearer. And with the Sun Mercury there, you're gonna be able to do it this month. So really good month to do it, particularly between about the 10th to the 24th of June will be a very good time here. We've also got several planets for much of the month in your ninth house, Scorpios. This is a spiritual house, this is the house of higher learning. It's also a focus for those of you who want to get into publishing, maybe publish your own book. Great time while Mercury is there, Venus is there. People are going to like you. People are going to respond to you. Also a good time for connecting with people around the world. Maybe a time for planning some travel or maybe expanding your business or where you work or maybe even changing a moving state or wherever you live in order to go for these work opportunities. I am seeing new work opportunities coming in for you Scorpios if you will only look up and see them. There's a tendency I feel as though you're looking down and you're intensely focused on where you are. You need to look up and beyond and outwards and this will take you to these new horizons that I'm really seeing for you. Venus and Mars in your 10th house for much of the month and this means good time to put some energy into your career. Venus there could well bring, for those of you looking, somebody through your work area or an affair with your boss or somebody in a higher position that you get into some kind of a nice relationship. Doesn't have to be romantic, could just be somebody who's helpful and kind and really sees your skills in a very positive light. We've got Neptune in the fourth house, still transiting that fourth house. So beware of the sacrifices you're making in the home family area. Many of you are doing that. Um, make sure you're not being deluded here. Make sure you're seeing things clearly, because I think some of you are going to be moving house, moving away, letting go of your old structures of family things that have been holding you back, holding you down, patterns that have held you back for many years are dissipating and you've got a chance to really move on and move out of those patterns. 
So there you have it, Scorpios. Certainly a month of change connected with your work. Try to flow with it. I know it's easier said than done, but you are going to have some unexpected changes. And if you can flow with those changes and see them, if they're endings, as opportunities to catapult you into something new that you're really going to enjoy. So there you have it, Scorpios. Thank you so many of you who do write in with lovely comments. I really appreciate it. Remember, I've got a special offer on at the moment that for $25, you can ask me one question and I will respond in an email of up to 150 words. For those of you that would like a more detailed reading, then please take a look at my website. You might want a financial, a relationship, a directional reading. Where are you going in your life? Please take a look at my website. Once again, thank you so much for watching my videos. See you soon. Bye.